You got it on your mind, pop to get it off your chest. You got it on your mind, pop to get it off your chest. You got it. What it is, y'all? We back with another episode of the Get It Off Your Chest podcast. I'm your host, Terry. I got the fellas with me in the building, man. Go ahead and take it off. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, CJ. Get Off Your Chest podcast. Let's get it. What's good? It's your boy, King Ronald 27. You got another one? Got a huge guest. Fuck. All right, let's go. Keep going. Keep going. We're going to keep flowing with it. Y'all ain't going to keep fucking on my intro, bro. You going to chill out, though. God damn. Y'all see who in the building with us, man. We got some professional, classic, <laughs> homegrown, professionals, professionals in the building, just like us, I'm talking about right hey, it's professional good, man. right now, <laughs> I'm going to let them introduce themselves, man, y'all take it away, man, let the people know who y'all are, shit, man, what up, Woody, man, it, uh, it's Supreme Beast about to talk, you know what I'm saying, it's, it's your boy Cadillac Red, you know what I'm saying, I got my brother with me. I thought he was about to say it's your host. <laughs> hey, oh, hey, no. you know what I'm saying? Glad to be with y'all, fellas. <laughs> you know, we, we got the we got the field correspondent. Uh, Mo got questions. That's me. <laughs> Mo being <laughs> sex traffic. Yeah, I do it. I do it. He cooling in this van, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you look too <laughs> smooth. Right there. <laughs> hey, I'm, I, the whole time I've been sitting here, I'll just waiting on you to lean over and be like, "Hey, baby." Like just give me one of those, one of those, one time out the window. <laughs> but y'all know how this go, man. We get shit off our chest, whether it's been a day, a week, a month, a year. How the fuck we feel like getting off our chest, we're gonna get off our chest because we really just don't give a fuck. Y'all know by now, we really just don't give a fuck, man. So we're gonna start this motherfucker off right, man. This is episode 50 plus plus. God damn it. <laughs> yeah. How my fellas doing, man? It's a beautiful Sunday morning. If y'all watching this, it's Tuesday. But for us, it's Sunday, man. How y'all doing today? She no good, man. good, man. Great, great. Happy to be a part of 51 with y'all, man. Yeah, man. Very good. <laughs> say something, nigga. Damn. Yeah, what are y'all? Uh, so yeah, I don't know the nigga Gas was talking. He was talking. My man cut <laughs> that. Nigga, I'm feeling good. <laughs> I'm feeling great. I got this cone. Y'all want to know what it is? Cut the check, God damn it! And I'll tell y'all what it is. I mean, we got, we got, we got, we got this. What the fuck we got in the building? We got screen me. Motherfucker box talking in the, the building. building man. The motherfucker, man. Let's get it, y'all. Come on, let's get it. Yo, I'm feeling hella good right now. I mean, we some self-made motherfuckers. And then look where we are now. No, yeah, episode right. 50 plus plus and we doing our thing <laughs> we gonna keep doing it let's get it god damn right man talk y'all shit man talk talk to the people y'all i don't even want to say shit y'all talk to the people <laughs> it's y'all show <laughs> dude, what you got how, how you doing today deuce what is talking let's about let's go deuce Dope. i mean you already know with me you know what i'm saying it's good to be around some some young educated brothers you know what i'm saying I, I like the black unity you know we all we you know what i'm saying we black first Black everything, you know what I'm saying? Black always, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So it's all love and positivity. I, I, I love to see that from brothers, you know what I'm saying? Working together. It's like it's like the Marvel, I was telling you the other day, it's like the Marvel, hey, was, collect, it's like the Marvel mashup joint, you know what I'm saying? Hell yeah, hey, man, Black, <laughs> Black Avengers. Hey, hey, Black hey, Avengers, like, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, That's so a few chat. Yeah, man. What about Chad. you, Mo? How you feeling, I love Mo? you, man. Over there well, chilling, I'm the man. Corner, I want, but I'm glad to be here. That's me. Um, I don't do nothing but really ask questions. So if you ah, ask shit. me a question, I don't really know what to say. That's my ah, <laughs> <laughs> we, we got a lot of those. Gotcha. Man. Yeah. We got a lot of those. <laughs> oh, 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 tell them, I, I, I'm, I own this van. This is my shit. Hell yeah. <laughs> Let them know, <laughs> man. Talk your shit. Self-made. That's why he cooling so hard in that motherfucker. Yeah, it's his. Self -made. <laughs> motherfucker mine. <laughs> Motherfucker, you move. God damn it. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, hell yeah, man. But shouts out to the blackgent.com. And I know we got to shout out our sponsors. Shouts out to blackgent.com. It's no shave November. You know, we looking a little rough. You know, looking a little rough right now. You know what I'm saying? But we're we going to clean that up, though. We're going to clean that up, though. But make sure you hit that slash off your chest for that extra 10% off. You know what I'm saying? It's a brooming company for black kings, black queens. They got a little bit of everything. They even got coffee, man. Coffee, man. Coffee. They got motherfucking coffee. So they gonna help my girl out. with her mustache? 
Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> you know she got a little bit of head. She keep telling me, "Fuck you, nigga." I know somebody that like it and shit, but she got a little bit. Now I'm waiting on the shooter to fly past your ass. Come on, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, look, 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 look. look. I'm about, you see, I duck when I said it. Right. <laughs> you catch one. Catch one. Floyd taught me the shoulder roll. You know we a boxing show. Floyd taught me the shoulder roll. Damn, baby, chill. I blocked it. <laughs> Um, but let's get it going, man. I appreciate you fellas for coming on the show, man. You know, it's been a long ass ride for all of us. You know what I'm saying? So it feels good to have everybody come together. You know what I'm saying? It shouts out to y'all just for what y'all doing over there, man. Like Cuz said before y'all even got on, y'all was doing interviews and shit. Y'all working. I love that shit. We everybody just moving right now, man. So I definitely appreciate y'all for coming through. Yeah, appreciate you having us. Definitely, definitely appreciate you for having us, man. We we definitely uh like I said, I've been I, I rock with the show. I, I like the content that y'all putting out. I like the, yeah, the little yeah. movement that y'all created. You know what I'm saying? And I, I like I, 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 I fuck with how y'all y'all fuck with each other outside of the show. Oh like yeah, this, yeah. You know, what made y'all want to get into the shit? You know what I'm saying. So, I mean, I'm all the way in California, but I still fuck with you dudes. Hell yeah, I've been yeah. doing this dude off of Xbox <laughs> for damn near over Too twelve long. years. Yeah. So oh, where so so where y'all at? Where y'all at? We in the middle of the country, man. We, we in Missouri, in me, and, me and cousin me Kansas City. Kansas City. I'm, in, I'm in the Bay Area. Okay. We got him down here one time. We, we got him yeah, down here and changed his life. March, for March Madness <laughs> and changed his damn life. We, 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 good for it, hey, 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 we, we can't talk too much about March Madness. You know, it's just in the, you know, yeah, they man. watch. It's not real, y'all. <laughs> this shit ain't real. It never happened. A myth. <laughs> it's so, a myth. So y'all from, uh, from Killer City, right? Yeah. Yeah. Killer yeah, City. Yeah, I, I, uh, I, I used to stay out there, John. I was out the swamp. Oh shit! Out there, you know? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I was out the swamp. I had uh, I, I owned a restaurant and shit. And my man's my man's that I was with, he had a, a mechanic shop out there, John, right next to it. <laughs> at that John, at that John. Why oh, y'all laughing? Hey, hey, y'all don't get it, do y'all? Bro? He talking about hey, hey, come on now. <laughs> Wake up, goddamn it, bro. Wake up, goddamn it. <laughs> hey, you know, you know what's crazy? Like, you know, what you think is around, man. Right, right. You know what's crazy about that? That the uh, that they, they really filmed that shit out here when they did. It's it's called Kelly's, the bar that they did it at Kelly's. Uh-huh. Kelly's, right, yeah. right. I'm, I'm gonna tell y'all something about Kelly's. Brothers don't go there. <laughs> it's, it's just one of them, bro. Yeah, it's just bigger. It's just bigger yeah, of like big. it's just bigger of all the bars. That's because it's like uh, it's called Westport, and Westport is just a whole bunch of bars. Like it's like uh like four corners you want to say it's like every corner mm-hmm. like it's like hella bars on it on every corner, but Kelly's is like one of the bigger ones. Mm-hmm. So you know so that's what they that's what they shot it at. It looks way different from when they shot it to how it is now. Yeah. It don't it don't it don't look the same. But yeah, a lot of brothers don't go up in there. I'm, and if they do, they you know saying they didn't they not that up. motherfucker, right? <laughs> they they, they didn't that motherfucker, man. <laughs> right, so. But where y'all where y'all at? I didn't even know where y'all was. Yeah. Uh, uh, we in the DMV. Yeah, all of yeah. I think you yeah, told me that. So, 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 what's up with that? Uh, what's the sauce, man? What's the sauce? Mumbo, mumbo sauce. I need, I need mumbo that. Sauce? Mumbo sauce. Yeah. I need some mumbo, mumbo sauce, man. Hey, yo, I'm lost. Yeah. What's the, hold on, hold on. I'm lost. What's the DMV? DC, Maryland, and Virginia. Oh, Connecticut. Okay, oh, so, okay, okay. Yeah, Connecticut. 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 <laughs> you go. Ain't going in that motherfucking yeah. bitch. Yeah. Days, goddamn. Nah. Nah. Hey, make that, make an appointment for that, that shit. Fuck that. <laughs> I know that. I know that answer. What, you got it. What, what is it, bro? What, what is it? The metro vicinity, which yeah. means yeah. if so, the metro don't come to you. You ain't from the DMV. V. Exactly. <laughs> good part. It's parts of Maryland that's not DMV. You know what I'm saying? Mo Mo is from uh from Richmond. He's a VA uh, nigga. He not mm-hmm. he not DMV. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it's you got to be from the, like that circle where all three of the areas touch. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That, and the train get to you through the gym. And the train able to get to you. Okay. Uh, okay. So dudes, I'm I'm originally from New Orleans and shit. Mm. Oh, you from New Orleans? Yeah, we got a we got an uncle that live in Virginia. Hey, where do where do Uncle Snoopy live at? Is it, you is ask it me that shit all the time. I just know he stay in Virginia. I don't know that man's whereabouts <laughs> and locations. <laughs> when we used to go, we was kids. I don't. I, been, cool. I got 
We ain't been family. down there since like 2002, though. But yeah, it's been a long like, ass time. Yeah. Hey, like he stayed close to the beach. Where the fuck the beach is? Because every time well, we go down, there, we go down to the beach. Yeah, 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 yeah that's yeah. something about something. That's it's multiple awesome. of them, though, ain't it? Ain't it multiple yeah. beaches down there? Yeah, it's multiple beaches. I don't beaches, know, yeah. man. We used to just go to the beach. We was kids, That's what I said. Man. We was kids. We went over there, ate some goddamn barbecue, got back on the road, went somewhere else. I don't know where the fuck you live at, man. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got a call. We got an uncle out there, though. Somewhere. Yeah, we do. We ain't talking to him, man. He's still alive, ain't he? Yeah, he's still alive. That's fucked up. That you that had to ask that. That's what's up. No. Hey, that bitch. It's such a small world. We might know him. See, yeah, I was right. Mike. Yeah, yeah, they yeah, call yeah, him yeah. Snooky. Hey, who, who is it? Ain't, he, uh, ain't he your mama brother? Mm-hmm. That's my mama brother, okay. yes, sir. Yes, sir, indeed. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, DMV, man, how hard is it out there? Is it hard out there? Because it's hard <laughs> down in this motherfucker. <laughs> no, nah, just kidding. Uh, it, ain't, it ain't that hard. Everything done calm down, you know. Unless you go over to the wind outside. That's a different story. But over here, nah, it's pretty cool. Nah, don't do that. Don't do that. No, okay, let me ask you about this. Okay. So, uh... <laughs> Maryland and Virginia, that, they're pretty close. Like the DMV, like it's like a little border that separates y'all, right? Yeah. Okay, okay. So Kansas City, it's a, it's a Missouri side and it's a Kansas side. Now we're mm. separated as a fucking five minute bridge. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's just a crosswalk across the goddamn street. So <laughs> is it like that out there too? Motherfuckers be like, y'all damn near from the Man, same guy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> motherfuckers be over here like, nah, that's that Kansas shit. Nah, mm -hmm. that's that Missouri shit. Well, motherfucker, exactly. we're really, literally from the same fucking place. It's exactly like that. Yeah. yeah. It's the exact same thing. Still, still it's the rapping. same thing all across the world. It's the same thing. <laughs> exactly. It's niggas, same. niggas is niggas is niggas is niggas is niggas. You know what I'm right. saying? Right. Like, it's the same forever. You know what I mean? We claim whatever's necessary. Yeah, you know what I mean? You it's so the land we don't own. Cross that line. You ain't from here. It's, it's so stupid that our women, our women love dudes in Missouri and they women Love dudes out here. I'm like, y'all do know these are the same fucking type of dudes, same right? Nigga, <laughs> and then, yeah, same nigga. Then, hey, it's one something new, that's all. And then they be yeah. like, oh man, I ain't fucking no Missouri before. niggas. They just, I'm like, bitch, it's the same in Kansas. Yeah. You know the same niggas. But y'all nah, wanna say- They be wanting to be they new. They make it sound good. <laughs> new, man. They be liking to be, you know what I'm saying? Y'all ever heard the term? Y'all ever heard the term born again virgins? Oh, they be shit. liking to start that over. That shit ain't again. real. Oh, they be like to start over. They they just be wanting the era of being able to start over again. If you get around some new niggas from somewhere else, you could be somebody else. You know what I'm saying? You could be a new you. You want to be again. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Till she become a hoe for over there. Right. Then, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. New block new me. See, but, who they are. but the thing is, ain't no really good clubs out here in Kansas. So we uh, so everybody from Kansas got to go over there. So we got to go to like West, like I said, Westport, or we go Iron to Pee. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a pair of lights, but we that's the only two places we can go. I mean, we got your little hole in the wall, little club and shit, but most of everybody out here got to go out there to party. So, yeah. we everybody know everybody. So, if you yeah, had doing some really shit, small, that shit, that shit spread like Wi Fi out here. <laughs> yeah. but, but enough about that bullshit. So, I want y'all to uh, let the people know how this bring beats boxing come about. Oh, let's get into uh, it. Man. Shit. We me and produce brothers. So we've been around each other our whole life. Uh we've been shooting shit. Um, we did we did a battle rap. We had a battle rap league that we was running out here. Oh shit. Uh, and rap then. Okay. Yeah, that, yeah, that was and rap then. Give him the link, oh, lad. Give him yeah, the yeah, link. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Make sure you send that to <laughs> yeah, I, I fucks with battle rap. Heavy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But we had, we had, uh, we had, uh, <clears throat> we did, we started some battle rap shit in the area. That was like our first run in with like YouTube and shit and putting ourselves out there, whatnot, whatnot. Mm. Uh, it was pretty decent, but running the league is different from being a battle rapper. Yeah. Like running the league, you got to put motherfuckers together. It's egos. Niggas like to not show up. Niggas to show up and don't have bars ready and shit. That shit just, was, it became too much of a headache in a hassle than it was the actual enjoyment of doing it. Mm -hmm. uh, we all, we, we, within doing that, we played flag football. You know what I'm saying? All three of us played flag football. Uh, linking up with Mo, we started our own team or whatnot. And we talked so much shit on the field. Everybody said, y'all need y'all on show. Y'all need y'all on show. <laughs> and we used to always brush it to the side, like whatever, whatever. Um, I got, I started watching the LDBC shit and following boxing heavy. And I seen that there was a lane for us. 
and told told Deuce like, yo, let's do it. Yo, let's do it. Yo, we could we, we making our show, man. I'm about to buy a camera. Fuck it. What we gonna film, man? We filming right here. Fuck it. Me and you, we gonna shoot the shit. You know what I'm saying? Mo mo coming. And then ever since then, you know what I'm saying, it's been what it's been. Every week, you know what I'm saying? We gonna put something out, we gonna, you know what I'm saying, get people what they want. Damn. So, so it's basically like, hey man, we about to talk our shit, man. I'm, I'm, I'm filling the boxes. I'm just about to talk our shit. Let me go buy a camera, and we're going to get this. See, it don't take a whole goddamn setup to fucking start something, man. People be getting that shit twisted. It don't just take after. a whole lot of expensive shit to start something. I, you want to start something? Like, I ain't even going to lie to you. Like, I don't even really like boxing. I just have a clothing line, yeah. and that means I get to wear a shirt, a different shirt every episode, and get to market it. That was my main reason for doing it. Uh, that's 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 me. <laughs> and then uh, while doing it, while doing it, you know, I mean, the shit became more fun. I learned this at the third, and mm-hmm. I learned that I hate boxing even more. But that's Damn. something we can do. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you grew into it, Mo. You grew into the I podcast. Grew into it, but I grew into it, then grew out of it, then grew back into it. Into like it. I'm mad in the cycle, man. They tell you that. You just like a lie. It's all right. <laughs> For real. You're real trumpish out this motherfucker. <laughs> all right, all right Mo. Mo, I'm glad you said that because I'm not a really big fan of boxing either. And I was like really worried a little bit for having y'all three come on the podcast. Oh, no, like, that, I don't know. I don't know. Shit but that's, about that's, it. that's, that's, that's kind of how it works out because Ray, mm-hmm. like, he's a very big fan of boxing. Mm-hmm. Dude, he loves the sport and the technical part of it. And I'm just the dude that just like throwing boxing parties. So I know a little bit about it. And mm-hmm. I'll be the person that I ask a question that you as a casual fan might ask yourself. And I think that's mm-hmm. why the show can appeal to anybody that, you know what I mean? Hey, uh, mm-hmm. yeah. y'all. The party be trash. The party be trash, y'all. The party be trash. <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh, no, I don't know about that, man. Hey, my, last, my last boxing party, I threw everybody out. It's, uh, it was that Fury, uh, Deontay Wilder. I was, you know what I'm saying? And then we lost, motherfuckers on my helmet. I was like, Martin. Get the step. Yes. Everybody gotta get that step in. Everybody get that step in. I was so I was so pissed off. But because you know, when it comes to box, if it's a big fight going on, they, they come to me. Cause you know what I'm saying? I've been I've been into it to be honest. Like I got into it. I started watching Ticket. That's how I got really got back into it. Cause he used to talk a little bit about it, but uh, he used to do basketball also. Cause you know what I'm saying? I, I'm a big basketball fan, and then but he was talking about boxing, and I was like, I ain't really watched boxing like since, like, honestly, since Floyd, honestly. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I ain't know shit about that shit. But then the more and more I start watching, especially the LDBC and all, everybody that come on, like, shit, that's a whole day. I be trying to tell y'all, y'all want no boxing? Because the LDBC, that's a whole fucking day. They get you through that. They literally get me through my whole day. I even got uh Terry to watch. Yeah, some you got of the, me in the box. shows. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But, yeah, and then my brother, like, he, he watched a little He like, he loved, my brother, he loved AB, and he loved Tank. Mm. That motherfucker, but his, his favorite fighter was AB. I don't know why. He don't miss no AB fight. And I'll be like, and then, he it, it, this would piss me off. I was at the last AB fight when he fought Pacquiao. Mm. I was at home. I was, I was there. I was just watch that shit. I was going to, I ain't going to lie. I was going to stream that shit, because fuck AB. Because uh, it. <laughs> I, and I'm gonna tell you why I say that. I'm gonna tell you why I say that. My brother was like, "Hey man, I got the fight." I was like, "Fuck!" I said, "When you pay for it, I'm gonna go on out there and watch it." <laughs> I regretted watching it because he didn't let his hands go. That's what pissed me off the most. That's why I said, "Fuck him," because bro, my, my brother don't even like care for boxing, but he a big fan of you, so he went out and spent his hard on money on you to see you whoop his ass, and then you, you know, what I'm saying you didn't want to let your hands go. Your hands was in your goddamn pocket. You know what I'm saying? And then my brother was like, hey, man, what's, what's going on with that? I said, this is why I didn't want to come watch this bullshit. Because I knew this was going to happen. Like, come on, man. Like, oh. Because he, hey, he let it. Oh. Boy, that nigga fuck, pissed me. Fuck him in the ring. Fuck him in the ring. Did you see him in the courtroom? Didn't watch you know, video. I didn't watch fuck him in the oh, ring. Did you see the mama in the courtroom? No. Oh, That's what I was saying. <laughs> Cause I'm uh, telling you, the boy looked bad in that man. He like, nigga, I get money from my friends. Like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, you ain't seen it? Nah, I haven't oh. watched it yet. I'm gonna watch yeah, that motherfucker after oh, this, though. Man. You, you gotta see it. 
They bat me in the courtroom. The judge like, you ain't got no money. He's like, nah, I ain't got but like thirteen dollars to my name. So how the fuck you on Instagram flashing all these thousands? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He like, nigga, we saw you on Instagram. He's like, man, I get that money from my friends. He like, what friends? He like, I don't know, Bob, Aaron, Floyd, Mayweather. I got good friends. <laughs> I got good friends. <laughs> I, got good friends. Yeah, I got good friends. Like, man, boy, if you don't sit your goof ass down. <laughs> Motherfuckers know social media is the police, man. You don't yeah, think you man, ain't got no you money. Stick on yourself. Yeah. <laughs> you got a court date the next day, and you out here talking, man. Stop. Just get off camera for a day. That's their problem, they man. They can't right. They can't help he, it. He, he, social he's media a whore. marketer, though. He can market himself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. He definitely does that. What ABB doing with marketing and shit, you know what I'm saying? I can halfway understand, but I'm gonna keep it real, and that's what I wanted to tell y'all. You know what I'm saying? What I want to get off my chest is. Goofy ass niggas on the internet, man. Goofy you know what I'm saying? Thinking that this the internet age. You know what I'm saying? Like the first thing you do when you do some shit is run and tell on yourself. That shit, I don't know what it is. Who the fuck does that, man? Talk your they, shit. Hey, man. look, you Talk know what that's that's the SNL shit. That's that SNL shit. That 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 shit. Niggas like to be whipped, bro. They like the little ball in their mouth. And they like to be with the little leather mask on their face and shit. The dominatrix. That, they like that <laughs> SM shit. They like that SM shit, bro. Niggas like to be whipped. Right. That shit me out, and it start, it start, it get, it's starting to even get worse, right? It's bitches out here, right? It's, it, it's women out here. I should, I don't even gonna call them bitches because they ain't. Call them bitches. Fuck that. Call them bitches. Ah oh, shit! Oh, Stir the pot oh, now. Oh, them oh, bitches. Oh, right now, you okay? Yeah, I learned. I learned okay? my lesson, man. I learned my lesson, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's the women out here. They got to get together. That's looking for a man to help her and be, a, be. You know what I'm saying? So she could be a queen and shit. And she's as in looking for that. She stopped, jump on the internet, and make an OnlyFans. Bitch, you belong in the streets now. Hey man, you <laughs> nigga want you? You're going to the streets. <laughs> Giving to you to where you belong. <laughs> so the so the question is, so the question is, can you date a woman with an OnlyFans? <laughs> I mean. <laughs> and, just, and just me and her OnlyFans. I'm about to hey. be out. I'm about to be out. No, you got me twisted. I, nah, hell no. Nah. Hey, Cabana too? Mm. I'll be on hey, there look. with the camera like hey, a motherfucker. Like, hey, oh, oh, it up. Oh, 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 <laughs> I'll lie to y'all not. If you, if you and your shorty got an OnlyFans, it's I'll different. different. You're right. Nah. You're right. It's different. I'm ready to put my, me and my shorty about to make one, bro. I'm trying to tell y'all. <laughs> <laughs> about to making millions of dollars. We about to make one. We about to shoot a pro no out this joint. Huh? Yeah, I, I, can <laughs> that. I can respect that. Like like Sauce Walker and his and his wife or his shorty, they didn't make like twelve million off only fans. It was you and her and y'all doing that shit together, splitting proceeds and shit. Cool, mm -hmm. dating a chick, you don't even know, right? <laughs> you in a restaurant. And the niggas at your bitch. Wait, wait. Hey, <laughs> I don't need booty, but I like sitting it. right behind you. Hey, baby, so what you do for a living? Um, I'm an entertainer. The nigga behind oh, you sitting there like, damn, show the bad. I don't need booty, but I like it. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck with you from a distance, baby. <laughs> Go home and pay for it. Like, I'm getting her shit right. Wouldn't now. that be like Dana Stripper? No, Whoa. not not. Yeah, Connor, Connor. Yes, yeah, because yes. everybody's yes. you know what I'm saying. No, but it depends man. on what type of stripper no, she is. If she just, all in, yeah, she yeah, all yeah, in, you know. Hey, look, hey, look. We talk about we talk about we talk about the motherfucking stripper in the titty bar that don't nobody barely go to, or we talk about the business naked on the world wide web. Hey, look, every chick got a button, every chick got a pass, bro. You know what yep. I'm saying? Every chick got a button. Everybody, you can hit that button and, and the freak come out. You know what I'm saying? Every chick got a pass. Hey, Some man. nigga hit that button and brought the freak out of it. You know what I'm saying? The freak might go back in there. But every chick got one in her. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I feel like she tell me she got an OnlyFans. Hey, I'm going to go home and pay that little $5 for the month and just see everything. Like, yeah, I don't need to talk to you no more. Nah, look, <laughs> we, we, look I'm not trying to be a co- I look, I'm not I'm just trying to be a friend. Yeah, I need to be a friend. I don't... I'm just trying to be a friend. That's all. We don't need to go that extra so step no more. So this is saying y'all couldn't date a stripper either then, right? She belongs to mm, Yeah, I could yeah, think nah, no you, you got, you too got much probability that comes with strippers, man. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I let, when they belong to the street. Or with a bitch that's on OnlyFans, I'm the side nigga, because she belongs to the streets. <laughs> Every <laughs> first and foremost. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, you're like, hey, bro, you uh, mess with little shorty from last week? Yeah, bro, I already done looked at her body. I seen everything about her. Hey, yeah, she look good. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, nah, bro, I'm She be busting that door what? I'm watching her bust that man over. I'm busting over every night, bro. Every I go night. to sleep to that bitch. Hell no. Two ninety nine. Goddamn. To me, bitches doing that is the equivalent of goofy ass niggas doing that gun shit 
and, and doing crimes and filming themselves doing the doing shit. Doing the fucking crime. Like, like gang shit. A whole lot of gang shit. A whole lot of gang shit. whole lot of dumb shit. A whole lot of dumb shit. But that, 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 that's more of a would you that's more of an insecure type thing. Like you, you gotta be secure. You gotta be more secure ass dude to date a stripper or a yeah. chick with only you know what I'm saying? You gotta be good with yourself because ain't no way in hell I'm about to be out here knowing that everybody named mama didn't look at my woman. Probably some of the niggas probably <laughs> fuck my goddamn woman. Nah, fuck all that. It's just right. there's dudes out there that would date them type of women. And that, crazy. that's crazy everybody. It, it don't give a fuck in the world. You got it. Cool. But it's only, you got it but only two. It's only two dudes that can do that. It's only two personality types that can handle that kind of relationship, right? And it's either the simp kind of guy or the pimp kind of guy. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it's the simp kind of guy that's a cuckold and let all that shit happen and just he he more or less the subservient guy to her. Whereas the pimp kind of guy who's like I'm, a, I'll take that and I'll parlay that into making us some bread. So that's when you. You know what I'm saying? That's when you get the only fans with that type chick. Hey, cause you know I mean? hey, go ahead and share your idea, cause we gonna we gonna get that out there. We gonna so about so get paid hey, look, off that hey, shit. Hey, let's hey. Start this hey. Up, you know what I'm saying? You see, Mo got the van, right? Pat that shit. <laughs> hey, he got a good idea though. He got a good <laughs> you idea. Got, you see, Mo got the van, right? You know what I'm saying? Let me get it though. Let me get it though. Hey, 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 Pat, like, he's trying to get me. Up. He's trying to get me. In trouble. <laughs> <laughs> see this? Look at the van right there. We gonna green the van. Yeah, fucking everywhere. Hey, I can't run. I mean, I ran. I ran through the idea with my wife one time, but you know, I'm just leaving it at that. <laughs> she she yeah. thought it was a joke, but uh, she when she see this, I might get you know what I'm saying. I might not be on next week. You know what I'm saying? Hey, she look, might, I might be dead some. <laughs> it's, hey, look, bro, I'm trying to tell you, me and my girl been talking about it. We've been talking about it. You know what I'm saying? Hey, she man. died like crazy anyway. We could get that off. You know what I'm saying? Now, the one thing I do want to say, I got a hell of a plan. I got a hell of a plan. He's just trying to get her ass to sign off on this shit. That, well, that, that's tough. That's yeah. tough. <laughs> just, just mention the money involved. I tried to. I'm like, I'm like girl, you know, this nigga made $10 million. <laughs> <laughs> you know Man, these females <laughs> making hell of money off that shit. They barely even yeah. showing skin. Did he barely do anything? They be catfishing like a motherfucker. Like a motherfucker. Yeah, you want to see I more, go to my OnlyFans. You go I click that motherfucker yeah, 3 yeah, go to my OnlyFans, you get some more, and you be, you be a baby suit under the picture and shit. A whole like, fucking baby, robe on and shit. <laughs> hell nah, <laughs> man. You got a little strawberry <laughs> hot body. Hey, you pay for that <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look, hell hell on. <laughs> I'm tricked off for a little bit. Uh, uh. Just to get shit off our chest, she trying to convince me to let her put her toes on live for OnlyFans page. Am I wrong? For saying no? Is it toes? Just the yeah, toes? Say no or... yeah, Is I, I, it I, toes I, with not, the pussy I'm not, I'm, not completely, I'm not completely sold on that. It's just it's just a toes, man. Hey. For one, for one, hold on, hold on, Mo. Well, for one, motherfuckers love puff fetishes. Hold on, break it so down. Ain't got puff fetishes though. It's some, it's some weird old motherfuckers yeah, out here. It's some yeah. weird motherfuckers out here. Yeah. Right? Believe that. Do that. Believe, believe that. I was gonna do that shit. Look, I was gonna do that shit, and my name on the joint was gonna be called Only Toes. Only. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas gonna be throwing <laughs> for, her, for, for her toe feet. Shit. For her feet. Yeah. For her yeah. feet. Yeah. Soon yeah. as they get that check, just for just for a shot, it ain't even gotta be the whole damn foot. It can be half the foot. Hey, look, hey, that's look, money the right there. Well, that well, they gonna be pay for that shit. I was gonna feel, I was gonna feel my girl grabbing fish out the uh, out the lake. You know what I'm saying? Where her shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what? And we was gonna put that on there too. <laughs> Fishing after dark. She was gonna snatch. She was gonna snatch the clothes out the motherfucker. Out the lake like this. <laughs> Hey, hey. Baby, show, show how to do that thing, baby. Oh, look at that shit. Ah, uh, uh, I was gonna put on my Steve Irwin gear and shit. Hey, you, like, gotta put that, you gotta put the porn music behind it while she fishing. Look at that. Hey, Irwin. 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 Look at she's a beaut. She's a beaut. Look at, look at the accuracy. Look at the deadly claws. <laughs> Look at how amazing her, oh, nah. her, her strikes off. She strikes with such Hell efficiency. Nah. <laughs> Motherfuckers gonna be playing for that shit too, man. Hell that's yeah, crazy. buddy. That's crazy. They will. There's some weird O's. There's yeah. some weird O's out here, but feet, feet right. though, Mo. Feet yeah. though. 
But I feel like once you get started, ain't no stopping. So it's like, yeah, hey, you, you, you know what I'm yeah. saying? You got to put a little, you got to put a little coochie in that joint and all that kind of yeah. stuff. No, you know how do you jump all the way there? It'd be about angles. <laughs> it's gonna be the leg next. It's gonna be leg. Yeah. 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 Can we get some pictures of the knees? The knees, the knees, the knees, the knees. Yeah, it go, it go higher. Let me see your thigh meat. Yeah, motherfuckers ain't satisfied. They ain't gonna be satisfied. Can you put some polish on those toes? Yeah, that's crazy. We start shit like that. What you got? What you gonna do? Because it's always it's gonna be that one guy that say, "Hey, I spend this much." Let yeah. me see your pussy. So what you got? Yeah. Be in there? Like, how, what? But he, but he spending so much money. You like? You know what? This, it's it's just a picture. Yeah, yeah. So I let this nigga say it. I said I'm not. You know what I'm saying? That's, it's that's just a picture. Shit. That's what it. That's what the security <laughs> coming. That's, that's what you gotta ask yourself. Like, you got to talk yeah. yourself. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, it's just a pic. It's just a pic. You ain't fucking. You fucking. Yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah. Hey, dude. Uh, say it again. Uh, it's two types of niggas you gonna have to deal with. <laughs> Then you gonna have to be the simp nigga, or you gonna be the pimp nigga. You know what I'm saying? You gonna, you know what I'm saying? You gonna let her do what she do, or you gonna capitalize off what she do? You see what I'm saying? Hey man, only gonna do what she do anyway. Devil for some. Bottom line, look. Bottom line, she gonna do what she do anyway. You know what I'm saying? So you either gonna get in line. You know what I'm saying? You gotta either either show her the direction to go, or let her go. Yeah, man, that's crazy, man. I'm gonna make one, just make a peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and see if motherfuckers try to add that shit. <laughs> that mukbang, that mukbang. Nice and, mukbang, hey, look, yep. Nice and make crazy. Make her make, it, make, her, make her make the joint with her feet and we got a show, you know what uh. I'm saying? Make these peanut butter and hey, jelly sandwiches with your hey, feet. We, hey, we ain't getting paid. We gotta stop with them ideas. We ain't getting paid for this shit. <laughs> yeah, <I'm> right. <laughs> Next thing you know, they gonna be posting it up, man. Hey, thanks for the idea, man. Niggas gonna be yeah, like, yeah. She spreading, <laughs> she spreading the joint with her toes and shit. Hey, look, hey, look, hey, dude. Hey, dude, yeah. hey, look, episode, episode motherfucking uh, 70, y'all gonna be uh, interviewing the nigga that made a million dollars <laughs> off of <laughs> oh, oh, peanut butter toe porn and shit. <laughs> <laughs> peanut butter toe porn. I'm gonna try to catch him. I'm trying to yeah. get you. Peanut butter toe porn. I'm dead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, peanut yeah. butter toe porn. Hey, why we, we on that though? Why we on that though? Let's, let's take let's take a step back real quick because uh. Why we on what? The peanut butter or the toe porn? <laughs> 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 All this shit. <laughs> All this shit. Hey, man, All the fans, peanut butter, jelly sandwiches, ankles, legs, yeah. thighs. <laughs> she want them motherfuckers gonna want the whole Thanksgiving next time, man. Right. <laughs> but 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 serious question though, serious question. All right. Do y'all feel like because we're only fans starting up and shit? You know these motherfucking porn agencies ain't making no money. But anyway, uh. It's all a part of the whole social media realm when you look at it. They everybody promote their shit on social media, right? So how do y'all feel? I think we talked about this before, y'all. Y'all niggas had me crying just now. <sighs> God damn. But how do y'all feel that social media has molded, you know, our upcoming generations? Because they lived for social media. Social media is them. So how do y'all feel like right now the next the next younger generation is coming up? I want to say like the teenagers nowadays are being molded off of the social media aspect now. Um, it's kind of weird because we see the teenagers, but then we have kids that are younger, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? So you're kind of seeing how it could end up because of the influence of social media. And you're trying to make sure that it don't happen to your little ones, but it's new for you too, especially with us actually doing social media ourselves. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's funny because me and Shorty get up in, in, in debates because I give a fuck about likes, but she don't understand how a person give a fuck about likes. You know what I mean? So I can understand why a child gives a fuck about likes, but I'm grown enough to understand that you still shouldn't give a fuck about likes. Right. You know what I'm like, I, 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 can, I can distinguish all of that, but my child cannot, and she's growing up in that. And it's, mm -hmm. going to be, it's kind of going to be kind of hard for me to try to navigate where she goes because at the same time, I'm participating in it too. Not the position that she is, because I'm not influenced by it, so to say, but I am kind of, you know what I mean? So it's kind of, it's life, man. You just got to deal with it as it comes, man. And life yeah. don't really come with a manual, so you just got to deal with it as it comes. And learn that shit. Yeah. 
Watch out, watch out. That's, 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 that's crazy. That's, 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 that was a good breakdown. <laughs> that's crazy, though. I, I agree. I agree with that 100%. You got to give, you got to try your best to, to figure out the manual so you can give it to the next generation mm -hmm. and, and how to move correctly and, and all those things. I think I think it's social media then came for when it said it's at a definite definite hierarchy right now. But with emotional, you know, these kids get so emotional nowadays with their, you know, they don't know how to control their emotions and they let social media be the forefront. And like most of like the man, you you really do have to learn a manual. You have to be able to get that to your kids so they don't get emotional, start throwing bullshit up because people will throw anything on social media nowadays. And not just kids, fucking adults is bad at that shit. So it's like you know, you definitely got to learn the manual, but it has it has molded and changed the way we move now, especially for us, because this shit like a job now. But I like it. Yeah. I yeah. like that motherfucker yeah. I go to all the time. <laughs> do any of our, do any of y'all kids have social media? Mine don't. Yeah, my daughter does. My daughter's fourteen, so she she's on okay. she's on she's on Facebook rarely. She's kind of like a tomboy, so she don't really dwell too much on it. She mainly okay. plays The Sims, Fortnite, okay. <laughs> Roblox, shit like that. But she be on there now and again. Hey, look, for mine, not no more. You know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah. Um, as far as the whole, you know what I mean? I feel like this generation is lost. You know what I'm saying? Because they don't know how to interact personally. You know what I'm saying? I'm a per I'm an in person person. I I I come out. I'm better when I'm around people. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But I'm also an introvert. So I, you know what I mean? I'm more. I'm more of an energy giver, but you know what I'm saying? I need to recharge my batteries. I need to be away from people. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, that's but, how I am. Mm -hmm. Right. So I be feeling like these kids don't understand how to be personable people. You know what I'm saying? Because they, I, remember, the, remember the movie Wally? <laughs> I feel yeah. like that's how these kids yeah. going to be in the next generation. They're going to be a bunch of fat motherfuckers that are, that are having weird ass conversations sitting right next to each other, but looking in the screen. Looking in the screen, I mean? yep. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, like they don't really understand the concept of, of human interaction you know what i mean mm. so i feel like they'll be lost for a while purely because the internet has done way too much you know what i'm saying yeah and on and top I'm of that the school shit's making it, it worse now going digital yeah exactly yeah, yeah. that's crazy and, and can i can i say this i think it's because due to us too as parents because of us mm. growing up we was able to go outside, no problems. As mm -hmm. long as we did before that street light gone. Mm -hmm. and yeah. it ain't the same. Personally, it ain't the same with me and my children. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like we was learning faster back then yeah. than they are now. Like we yeah. knew, like we had everybody do their little dumb shit, but we really do knew right from wrong. Like, all right, look, nigga, the lights going down, I'm gone. That's all right. you, you want to get your ass for. Ass, well, they be bring ass back. That's that's for months. But uh, nowadays, like, like you know, you could go to your 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 partner house that live like around the corner. He, he's some blocks away. You can go there. You can walk there. No issue. I can't at, at a young age too. Like, see, about 10, 11 years old, you can do that, and your parents be be cool with it. Mm -hmm. I don't think I could do that these days. I couldn't let my cause my uh my brother he lives around the corner from me. I couldn't let my son walk around the corner. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't, I don't, you know what I'm saying? The times we live in, I can't trust that shit. I don't, maybe it's just nah. me. But I, I can't trust that shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers be snatching up kids. I know what they used to say that back in the day. But I'm like, yeah. I'm damn bad. They're gonna drop me. Yeah, they think, snatch think, me it's because it's I'm because of what you've experienced in your lifetime. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? right. We've seen the Muhammad and Malvo shit, you know what I'm saying? The 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 Mr. Candyman's coming around, Alpha and Candy yeah. kids, yep. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and it's easier to reach these kids because of technology. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Get them to come outside for some shit and it'd be some, you know what I mean? It's easier to fool people. Now, it wasn't, back then, they had to be, you had to be present, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. To be, now it's so much easier and it's so, it's so much scarier because of the ability for a predator to reach these children. You know what I'm saying? Easier, yep, it's a lot easier. Yeah. It's so a lot easier, so it's so scarier. Mm -hmm. I got a weird. I got a weird question. In I, I'm just gathering it from what I'm just hearing. More so a questions. Lot times, a lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so a lot of times we say that uh, we say that the kids are softer, but mm. are the parents softer? And we're not allowing our kids to do stuff because we're scared of the stuff that we've learned over time. 
I just don't think we prepare them enough. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I don't I, think I, we're. I don't. I think that has something to do with it. I, I, I ain't like I said. Like that's what I said. Uh, maybe it is. Maybe I'm being too soft on my kids. You know what I'm saying? Because mm. of with the shit that we, but the shit that we went through, we were smart enough to know. Like I maybe just, I don't trust these goddamn kids. That's probably yeah. what it is. I think that's that what may, it yeah. is. I yeah, think it's because yeah. you know that you still made some dumbass decisions, even though your parents told you not to. You don't want your yeah. kids to make a dumbass decision. Yeah. Even though you told them not to. Yeah. Bottom line is you got to learn for yourself. You got to, people got to learn for themselves. You know what I'm saying? It's, yeah. you know what I mean? Got to bump you. You got to see man. that shit and go through it. And I, 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 think, I, think that, I think that might be what we're messing up with our kids. Like, we need to let our kids have those mistakes earlier instead of later on when they really can affect them. Mm-hmm. If you, I mean, but I guess at the same time we understand that like some of these mistakes can be very big, and there's no really bounce back. Detrimental home. too, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So we're kind of scared of that also. So like you know, what I mean, it's like I keep saying, there's no real manual to it, dog. You just gotta figure it out because every kid ain't the same, just like every household ain't the same. You know what I mean? Yeah, and that's how I go with me too because I've never had a teenager, and this is my first time having a teenager. So I gotta, mm-hmm. I gotta learn as I go. There's things that her mom accepts that I don't accept. Cause I'm hard yeah. on all three of them. I'll trade them yeah. things. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I think that's just me. That that comes from how we grew up. Cause you know what I'm saying? My parents was, well, my dad was more stern with me than my mom was. I know my mom, I can get away with a lot of shit. My daddy, I couldn't really, you know what I'm saying? Pops, I couldn't get away with that shit like that. So I try mm-hmm. to be, I try to be a little bit of both, but I also feel like nowadays there's a lot more friends than parents. And that yeah. comes into the yeah. knowledge aspect, and the way they treat their kids. Like a lot of parents are giving their kids the knowledge of what they used to do when they was kids. Like we ain't telling our kids like, well, we do. We tell our kids all the time. See, we, yeah. used, to, yeah. we used to be, we used to be every goddamn where. But a lot of parents ain't doing that. They just letting them. You know what I'm saying? Hey, do I, do I, I'm going over there with Johnny. I was. I see you later. You know what I'm saying? And they go about yeah, their business. Like I feel like I be fucking up sometimes being too honest with my child, man, about what's really going on in this world, man. You never be That's too honest. honest. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, one thing I learned is you can like, never be too honest. I'm my child this, yo. Like, I have my child. ready, though. I'm saying all this, yo, but you're trying to prepare her because, for me, I got smacked with a lot of shit when I got grown because my yeah. my, my, my parents were real strict and they kept me on, like, they, they really kept me on, you know what I mean? I tell niggas all the time, when I first got to college, I didn't go to sleep the first six days because... I wasn't used to just, I wasn't used to doing shit on my own. You know what I mean? Yeah. Your freedom. I, I was like, <laughs> I'm, out here, I'm out here. What, hey, look. what are we doing? And I wasn't doing nothing besides not going to sleep. Yeah. Hey, look. I caught a knife from my mama in the bicep at 13 because I had freedom, like, from a young age. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mom's work. <laughs> mom's work till late. You know what I mean? It was a single, single family home. Mom's working and making ends meet. And I'm throwing parties in the crib every night. You know what I mean? Then yeah, one day she she had enough and she threw a knife at me. I caught that thumb with the bicep, like ah. Uh, hey, but I looked at it like, oh shit! <laughs> 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 Is that a knife? You do that? Do <laughs> <laughs> that at me? <laughs> this was <what> meant to <laughs> with this motherfucker. <laughs> this this different type of single moms these days. Like the single moms we had, they was motherfucking. I mean, hustlers, you know they will yeah, grind. Hustlers. They gonna make yeah. sure shit get done. Mm-hmm. You know, they single, can't give you that. Yeah, they can't but they was like, they was on your ass to make sure you wasn't fucking up. Let me, my mom was a gangster. My mom yeah, weighed a little, yeah. by a, she was like a buck 20. But you know what I'm saying? But we didn't want to try her. Hell Cause nah. anything in her mother. <laughs> I wouldn't try it now. She, like she be trying to like, like my brother tell you, they got smacked with a phone, a broom. <laughs> it's like Wait, the belt. Not give they said fall. <laughs> I mean, let me I tell got, you, I, I got smacked with a weightlifting belt in the back, bro. It, you know, a weightlifting belt <laughs> cover your whole back. Yeah, yeah, bro. I, I felt like Kunta. Ah, ah, you know what I mean? <laughs> I, left, I left the house and slept in the car for two days. You, you, yeah, you, nah. you yeah, I'm, I'm like, wait, wait, wait. I read the pick on switch. Switch. I, I don't waiting on the switch. Like I said I dodged, I dodged knives and pans and plates and shit. I, I love what I'm saying. Them, 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 them wrap ups, them them double combined weapons. Oh, it, it never was just one thing. It was, it was some great combination cord and shit. Right. Mama I hit the workbench you, before oh, she oh, whipped oh, my oh. ass. And she was, I'm gonna put this together, wrap yeah, this up, uh, tie that like a zombie apocalypse there, weapon. Light that shit on fire, and I'm about to beat your ass. Torture shit. Mama coming in with the kung fu grip with the two. Yeah. Two weapons. About to, you about to die. You know, with, the, with the shoe paint under her eyes and shit. Hell yeah. Came for war, goddammit. 
Hey, man, I, I remember when I, I discovered. I think our, parents, I think our parents respected we were athletes, so they knew we were gonna get away from the first weapon. Yeah. Oh shit! Weapon. I had to come prepared. <laughs> you ever get hit not cry? You ever get hit not cry? Boy, don't 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 not cry. Yeah. Oh, oh, not cry. Oh, ooh, ooh, that was, ooh, 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 I ooh, yeah, hey. that's what I wanted. Jump on the ground, yeah, rub around a couple times, and then get back up. Oh man, yeah. yeah. So these oh, you thought it was easy? Y'all off a single parent household? Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. I, yeah, yeah, I was. I was. My dad, my mom, and dad. What's crazy is my dad always stayed with like my uh, my my grandparents, my auntie, stuff like that. So he literally stayed probably oh, five right. minutes away. But they weren't together. They was together when my yeah. brother was born, but not when I was when I was born. Though, I was okay. pretty. Much, I can't say single parent because my grandmother pretty much raised me and my mom was there, so that was pretty. Oh, it much. take a village with us. Yeah, with, it, with it, our yeah. people, it takes a village. And that's another thing too. Back then, we had a lot of people like we knew our neighbors. Looking out, yeah. Family members normally stayed close, so it was a lot easier. We can walk over. You know, Uncle Aaron stayed around the corner from me. We was everywhere, right. so it was right. that too. A lot of people don't even fuck with each other no more, for real. Right. So like I know, I know my neighbors, it? but in some of these neighborhoods, man, it's just it ain't like that. Y'all don't. And fuck the shame with is, neighbors? most of them don't fuck with each other because of some shit that happened on social media. Nah. Mm. I'm cool. We my about neighbors. Family? We talking about neighbors. Family. Um, both. Yeah. <laughs> both. Yeah. Both. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I got family members that ain't talking to each other now. When I mean they close, they close. They ain't even talking to each other now. I don't know what right. happens, but I'm doing some dumb petty shit. Mm. Man, look. Always is. Yeah, yeah always once you hear crazy. the story, you're like, y'all beefing over this? Over that? It get like that. And the shit, because it be so crazy, because we it be cool as cool to the motherfucker. And then one thing just triggers everything. I'd have had to put, yeah. I, I don't want to get into that. I, this nigga, we ain't, we ain't going to get into all that, but. <laughs> It, it gets crazy, man. Like our, our families, is, they psycho. Yeah. But that's the beautiful thing about us as a people. You know what I mean? Yeah, that, that definitely is. Because I wouldn't be who I am without my family. So it's like, you right. know, we was born out of that. The earlier times, you know, when we had, you know, my older cousins and shit was actually, you know, doing their thing and I was around them more. My older brother was out of jail, so all that shit. But I was pretty much molded and tried to do the same for them as they got older. So I had to play the big cousin when... Our other man, big cousins went around, so that nigga was a bully. Fuck out of there! Don't lie to them. That yeah, nigga was a bully. bully. Man. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, we do what we must. You know I what I'm saying? Made sure they were straight. Nah, man. But we, <laughs> but we fuck with it. We fuck with it though. He, you know what I'm saying? That ain't funny. Tell me what we do. Us, motherfucker. We do what we must, man. We do what we must. Take the one you love, one, man. Hey man, we do what we must, man. We do what we must. I done knocked a few niggas out for no reason. You know what I mean? You do what you gotta do to protect do what your bitch. We must. Black we know if he get into anything, he ain't gotta do nothing but talk. And the rest is my, I'm the cleanup hey. guy. Nah. Hey, there it go. Hey. Uh, right. There it go. Hey, anytime, I, I just watch. Something, right. Anytime just something go wrong, guy. all we do is call cuz. We just call yeah. cuz. We call cuz. And then, hey, man, look. Yeah, I man. mean, outside of such, they pick, you know what I'm saying? They doing this. Because I've, I've always been a little nigga. You know what I'm saying? So. It was always motherfuckers, and I talk shit. You try to roast me, I'm gonna let you have it. I'm not oh, gonna yeah, stop. Got, I'm gonna be on your fire. goddamn head. So guess fire. what? It's a lot of people that didn't like me because they, they, you know what I'm saying, try to put in on some jokes, and I looked mm -hmm. at them jokes, mm -hmm. and they didn't like what I had to say, so they want to whoop my little ass. I said, cool. Cool. <laughs> cool. Yeah, see what I'm saying? <laughs> and, and there it go. Cool. Like my brother. Yeah, man, we, I mean, we, hey, like man. Uh, we play flag football and shit. It's, it's been, been games that we have won because I've been talking shit to him, you know what I'm saying? And then they get out. Yeah, they were they was about to win. They they thought they had shit locked up. I get to talking that shit. The next thing you know, we celebrating at the end of the game. <laughs> hey, Darian, Darian, his brother is good at that shit, boy. Getting in your head. Oh man, that dude. He done made people leave Xbox Live parties. <laughs> Nigga threw me off hella times. It's so bad. It's so bad. This nigga gotta lock the party so that nigga just don't join. No, no, it's, it's bad, man. Cause because everybody, everybody ain't built to handle fire like that. Like if you go, right. I'd, have, I'd have been roasted by the best of them. And it's like I've been I've been dark skinned all my life. You know what I'm saying? I always been a little heavier set. You know, I might weight be up and down. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to get back in shape and you know, get these guns going. <laughs> But I, my yo, cousins in there, like, I the I, again. fire, yo. So I've always, you know, me and we always been around that shit. So it's like when D come in there and he be roasted, like some of the people don't be ready for that shit. 
and he don't stop. And if you if don't show no weakness, don't be like, man, this is weird, bro. He gonna fly in your ass. Let him know, right? No, let him know. Don't get hey, he don't quit. Hey, all you guys do is see it. All you gotta do is see our episode of the, the debate, the bonus episode. You'll see how bad we. Oh yeah. Oh the my debate, god. Man. Yeah. He yeah. 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 It's on the, uh, I think it's like episode like 14, 15. It's, it's called six. The Debate. It's, six, it's, yeah. it's no, no. me and my brother. I tell you everything you need to know. It's episode nine. That motherfucker, he, that nigga's a, he's a professional troll. That's what I can say. He's a professional. Hey, look. It was about Deontay Water, too. <laughs> look, the hater of the year is on the line with you right there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hater of the motherfucking Uh-oh. year. Uh-oh. Talk about no, shit, right man. There. Look, Talk about shit. Man. That nigga right there. Hey, Every now and then, you got to let a nigga know, you know what I'm saying? You could talk to me, but just don't fucking talk to me spicy. You know hey, let saying? him know. Don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That fly. Ain't none of that go ride. You nah, know what I'm saying? Man. You know your little talking, but keep your shit on mild sauce. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Not talk to me don't spicy. Talk, talk to me nice, man. Hey, you, man, know you, you, you sound like You sound like my cousin. That's how that motherfucker is. Yeah, hey, look, that's all I'm trying to tell you. It's one of them niggas everywhere, bro. <laughs> and that's, hey, but you know what? We be the most cool, calm, and collected ass niggas, though. In you, fact, say that, you say that one thing, you know what I'm saying? I can oh, only so deal weird. with so much, bro. But once I feel like you getting serious, uh, it's, it's a wrap. Because yeah. yeah. once I don't want to get hot, it's, it's, it's different. Don't yeah, let that liquid in the system. Oh, don't let hey. that liquid in the system. Hey, real quick though, before we, <laughs> that liquid courage, man. before we get up out of here though, uh, y'all in the DMV, man. So y'all fuck with Tay Rock? Uh, not so much. <laughs> that's, not, that's that's Baltimore. That's that's Maryland. That's, oh, that's not, Maryland. That's, that's Maryland. That's that's Maryland. My bad. My bad. Game. That's not yeah. where the train go. My bad. My bad. Train don't go that direction. My fault. Hey, train don't go that but in, in regards to battle rap though, who y'all fuck with? If y'all still uh, fuck with battle rap? Yeah, I like I like Moo. I like Moot. I like uh, Loaded Lux. I like uh, uh, shit. I like Do Shizzle and Cadillac Red. Fuck it. You know <laughs> I, got, I gotta hear this shit, man. I gotta, I gotta hear that shit. Hey, look, man. Hey, look. I, hey, look. I hung my jersey up. You know what I'm saying? Oh, it's retirement time, man. Yeah, I hung my jersey up on that battle rap shit. But when it comes to yeah. battle rap, you gotta have a, you gotta be mentally strong. I can't oh, yeah, handle definitely, in my definitely. face talking shit to me. It got the crowd behind them. I'm on a fight. I mean, but you know, you you know, you 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 once you meet the people and you come to an understanding, like it's it's all entertainment, you know what I'm saying? Like the best battle I ever had was like one of my closest friends, you know what I'm saying? Like we cool mm-hmm. as fuck, you know what I mean? But we went to war together, and you know what I'm saying? Like he was telling was me, like, yo, I'll punch you in your face though. when you said, huh? It was still some lines you ain't crossed though, right? Hell yeah. Uh nah. No, everything was I mean, in bad. Everything was about. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, I don't know, man. Some of them lines I've been hearing in the battle rap show. It's like you can't. No, nah, dog. We can't talk after that. I mean, because it be because it, it be niggas with legitimate gripes with each other. Yeah, rap, You know what I'm yeah. saying? So it be. You know what I mean? You know it be personal shit. So when you got personal yeah. shit with a motherfucker, yeah, you can't help but to put that in your art. You know what I mean? They be pissing me off sometimes with that shit though, because I be feeling like real niggas shouldn't say certain shit though too at the same right. time. And that's and that's so a they fact. Be, that's yeah, a fact. they be it, sometimes they be crossing the line, but then you can see, like you said, it be them dudes that really just don't fuck with each other. Yeah. But still, yeah. it still should be that mutual nigga. I'm a man, you a man, respect. Like I'm one that I'm one that feel like children should be off limits. Yeah, and I be saying that shit a lot too. But it always be like them off brand. I can't say yeah. all brand because everybody's an up and comer, but it also it'd be like those the smaller leagues, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, guys yeah, when you just get getting started, you know what I'm saying? They be trying to go viral. Yeah, just be yeah. trying to go viral, man. Just saying some shit to a nigga that you don't even know. Like, chill out, bro. Facts. You know what I'm saying? But that's crazy. Some shit you Googled and shit. You're right. Looked you at my Facebook page. Looked at my wiki page. Just, yeah. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> goofy shit, goofy shit. Hey, let me ask y'all this. What's uh because we, we was talking about with us, we we had we had issues. We've been having technical issues uh, coming up and all that other shit. We had a show that we had to film like three fucking times. We had to laugh at the jokes all over again like we heard it for the first time. Remember right. the topic and all that other shit. All at the same time staying motivated. And people, on, like when you see the episode, you you would never know. There's been times that we've been in heated arguments behind the camera and say, action, and motherfucker, you would never know. You know what I'm saying? You would never know. And and I could say doing this with my brothers, like 
you learn to let shit go mm-hmm. fast because shit, we about to be rolling in a second. You know what I'm saying? Right. So what, what have y'all experienced? Give me give me something that y'all experienced. I mean, we got three episodes we never release. <laughs> <laughs> we we got three episodes they never gonna hit the internet. Know. Like from when we first I go ahead, Kev. I can say yeah, like I said, I can say this like us doing this like honestly this is our actual first time ever been behind the camera like doing this Mm -hmm. shit like i've always been wanting to do a podcast but my podcast i wasn't even gonna show my face and then cuz came with the idea so like man fuck it man like like black said nigga you gonna see my face i ain't got nothing to hide it it is what it is but like i was very like very first episode like now i'm gonna say the first three I was nervous. You know what I'm saying? You get that anxiety. Like when y'all, like let's say I do flag football or I'm pretty sure y'all probably played in high school too. When you got that big game and all the anxiety is building up, it's like, you know what I'm saying? You're trying to get yourself together so you can perform and all that shit, but this the anxiety is taking over. That's how it was when we first started doing this. Like, cause I never been behind camera and then I'm worried about, damn, what the people going to think? Are they going to like it? Are they not going to like it? But the more and more and more we start to do it, I started getting comfortable with it. Like this, like you no know, like this doing this podcast made me more confident to talk to bigger groups. Like I yeah. can never stop talking to bigger groups. Like I would like I I'll be better want to talk to you one on one if I ain't fuck with you. But now when it's like bigger people, like more people in the room, I talk that shit with confidence. I say what I need to say. I used to have a bad problem with uh stumbling over my words. Like I know what I want to say in my head, but it would never come out right. Now that shit just flow with it. I just keep flowing with it. And like I, I this show. You know what I'm saying? Did that for us, but in the beginning, bro, we was nervous and yeah, it was clueless too. We didn't know what the fuck <laughs> like to do. Was, like, we, like we all was scared. Like we even yeah. got Rhino. I'm gonna let Rhino tell his experience. Go ahead, Rhino. Well, okay, I'm still I'm an introverted. Like I used to weigh over 600 pounds, and I didn't know how to talk to no one. I I still have like anxiety problems sometimes when I'm fumbling over fumbling over my words and stuff. But I have to say, like just doing it with these guys every day. I I can talk to people now. I can talk to people at work. I can show my personality. I can like just be myself. And another thing is like they actually helped me overcome this little this one of our one of our episodes, they helped me overcome something that would that I did in the past that I was going through just by talking shit. And like mm-hmm. now I look at that shit and like, yeah, why the fuck am I tripping about that? I'm just I have to keep doing me. Something like oh, it's something like this shit like that it's just i've grown a lot i know i've grown a lot and i just don't give a fuck i just don't give a fuck like what people learn how to not give a fuck what people think outside of here because i'm doing it with these guys as long as i'm i'm making these dudes i mean making these my my boys happy my homies happy and we having fun doing this shit i really don't give a fuck what anybody else say outside i'm gonna just keep talking and like you mo i see that you're the quiet one too you don't really say i mean um you say when it, you say shit that's when it's necessary. You ask your questions, and that really doesn't matter. Like I know if I left, like if I'm if I'm, I'm not on the podcast with these guys, these guys, it's, the shit will still be good, mm-hmm. but it won't be the same. Nah, we gonna miss you if you leave. That's fine. Anyway. Oh, oh, we're not gonna miss you. Why? <laughs> <laughs> we 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 had that too. You know what I'm saying? We've had that, that with each other too. Like we definitely. I mean, we had sub ins. Or whatnot, whatnot, but the chemistry that us three have, it's the same thing. Like I said, I I, I like to credit the shit to the football field because we we converse and we deal with each other so much in, in the football field. But just doing the shit like on on Sundays right after football. So regardless if it's a win or a loss, we're gonna be happy, we're gonna be mad, we're gonna get fucked up, we're gonna talk that shit. You know right. what I'm saying? We're gonna get over it together. Still sharp and still. Yeah, yeah, man. And we all in it together. And at the end of the day, like, you know what I'm saying? Whether it be the football field, it be the basketball court, whether it be speaking to people, confidence is key in, you know what I mean? Everything. In, in everything. Man. Confidence Straight is up. key. You know what I'm saying? If you don't believe in you, you know what I'm saying? You can't convince anybody else to. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. like I said, I was a little buck two big eared kid, you know what I mean? With a butt chin, right? You know what I mean? So I had I I had to learn to shoot back. Real yeah. quick. So my motto is now, if you throw it at me, you better be prepared because I'll grab that bitch and I'm throwing it back like <laughs> Nolan Ryan. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to spin that motherfucker. I'm Johnny Five with the way I spin this bitch back at you. Johnny Five. You know what I mean? 
You know what I'm saying? So like, hey, like, look, this shit come quick. Like, I almost got into a fight with a Bama on the flag football field the other day because I called him a McFlurry, right? <laughs> a McFlurry. I, I called him McFlurry. He like, what is a McFlurry? What is a McFlurry? I'm like, yo, you a McFlurry in the sun. You know what I'm saying? He like, what is a McFlurry? I said, yo, you milk soft. You soft. You soft. <laughs> you soft. You soft. Melt out here, man. You soft. You soft as milk. You soft as ice cream in the sun. Play an Oreo you in the sun. You soft. Soft, sir. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And he's like, all right, all right. So he wanted to fight after that. You know what I mean? I'm like, bro, you don't you don't know who you're dealing with, player. You know what I mean? But at the same time, like you got, you know what I mean? like I said, confidence is key, man. You know what I'm saying? Yes. If you don't believe in you, nobody else will. You know what I'm saying? That's key to life, belief. You know what I'm saying? The mental, you can will yourself to be whatever and whoever. Like, you know what I'm saying? You can't be whoever you want, but you the mind is 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 the most powerful muscle in the body. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, man. That definitely is black man, man. You definitely need to have your mental in check. Or yeah. learn I think another, about getting you know, it in check. Go ahead, Mo. I think another thing gained from um, doing the podcast, like you said, is black men mm-hmm. being able to talk. Like, just talk about just random stuff. Because a lot of times you'll have a good-ass idea in your head. And then when you talk to somebody, you get to say those words out loud. You find out how stupid that idea was in your head. Yep. You know what I mean? Or you find out that it was good and your man could input on this, that, and the third. And another thing I learned from doing a podcast is everybody has opinions mm-hmm. and you can't be getting all emotional over somebody else's opinion because that's their opinion. You know what I mean? Yeah, it definitely, it definitely helps you build thick skin too, man. It definitely helps oh, yeah. you build thick skin. And I, it has been times we I disagree with some of them, but we kept it together. We didn't get all in that raw, raw bullshit. We was like, all right, I'm gonna respect his opinion. You respect my opinion. We just agree to disagree. We're gonna leave it like that. Leave it like you know that. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, yeah, we was in the yo, we was in the argument so bad that I was about to leave. And that nigga deuce was like, nigga, you ain't going nowhere. Sit down, let's finish this episode, dog. Like, <laughs> that's yeah. Yeah, yeah, man. The, the male ego. Like, we get to it. We get to it. And he can get rid of it. We like, yo, where you going? <laughs> nah, you can't you can't leave right now. Like, yeah, you can't, can't run, man. Can't, can't can't leave. Leave. You ain't running from this shit, nigga. You but that's the, run, beauty of, uh, that's the beauty of this shit. You know what I'm saying? Being able to check your ego. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah, you already yeah. know, like, testosterone and male ego is, like, like very dangerous. One and the know same. Know yeah. mm-hmm. For some brothers to, to be able to check their ego, you know what I'm saying? Like, that shows maturity in, in us as men. You know what I mean? So we we doing what we can. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. We all, we all moving, man. Right. We all moving. Right. But we ain't going to hold it up, man. It's, it's been a hell of a show, man. Hell of a show. But before we get up out of here, is there anything else y'all want to say to the people, man? Just give the people some advice or something that we that we learned today. Because we, we were shooting the shit, but we was talking that shit, too. So let them know, or man, before we get up know, out of here. Or let them know what y'all got up and coming. Yeah, know? what y'all got coming mm-hmm. up, man. Yeah. Oh, well, shit, sure, fuck it. I'll go first since y'all hesitating. Let's go, mother. Um, <laughs> yeah, like I said, I got a clothing line. Uh, Southside did it where? Y'all can find me on Instagram, man. We got a big cartel store. I also do music. Uh, go by the name of Rhyme Book. You can find me on uh, on iTunes. Uh, my last project has Do Shizzle on it. Um, we have a clothing line through uh, Supreme Beast Boxing Talk also. I, I, I'll let Deuce talk more on that. Um, besides that, man, support your own because support is important. Hell yeah, man. Go ahead, Deuce. All right. All right. Well, you know, like you said, Supreme Beast clothing. You know what I'm saying? We do, oh, we hard. doing really good. You feel me? You know what I mean? Uh-huh. I'm working on, I be doing like a lot of the artwork and shit. Um, you know what I mean? Working on new new designs and all that shit. You know what I mean? Um, you already know what it is. SB though, everything. You feel me? Red. All right, man. Uh, shit, thank y'all for, for, for having us on the show. Uh, it's, it's been a good one. Um, the show, our show, Supreme Beast Boxing Talk, uh, Instagram, Facebook. Of course, on YouTube. Uh, for all your subscribers, if you watching the show, our show should be out tomorrow at 4.15 uh, Eastern Standard Time. Um, 4.15 p.m. Um, Eastern Standard Time on YouTube. Because uh, y'all should coming out Tuesday, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. So we, we should be out Wednesday. Um, yeah, go ahead and check us out. Sub to the channel. Tune in, and, man. Uh, and uh, yeah, yeah, just tune in. Uh, other than that, uh, we like to say the motto of our show is the, the motherfuckers in your corner is everything. And I definitely uh, love both of my brothers and, and, and we're going to grind this bitch out. And I appreciate what y'all doing. Y'all, y'all make us feel, you know what I'm saying, real good seeing somebody else doing the, doing, you know what I'm saying, doing the damn thing. 
And, uh, you know, she, if you're going to talk to me, don't fucking talk to me spicy, man. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Fellas, what y'all got to say, man? Shit, man. I, hey, I really do sincerely appreciate y'all for coming on, blessing us with y'all presence on our platform, man. And everybody, all their links are going to be in the description below. below. So y'all don't, yeah. y'all make sure y'all click them motherfuckers. Don't just look, click them, goddammit. Buy right. some merch. Motherfuckers, buy some merch, man. I like your board is important. You know what I'm saying? We all we fucking got. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man. Yeah, that's that's all I got. Man, I appreciate y'all for coming on, man. Man, all I gotta say is like, thank you guys for coming on and giving us all your uh, knowledge. You guys are some wise ass black men, and that's what we need more more of in this world. And and hey, man, just just thank y'all for fucking with us. Yeah, yeah. It really it means a lot, man. And just, that's it. That's it. I try to get all the bullshit over shit. Yo, bullshit over shit, man. Damn, man. Man, damn, man. I love y'all, man. I love you too, my nigga. Black man in this fucked up ass country. I love y'all, man. <laughs> man we, we black in this fucked up world, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, man, y'all know what it is, man. We ain't got too much to say, but I appreciate y'all for coming by. We had a hell of a show, man, talking our shit with y'all. We got to do this shit again. Definitely got to do this shit yeah. again. I, I, love, I love the fuck out y'all energy, bro. I love the fuck out y'all energy. Hell yeah, we there, man. Yeah, yeah. We there, man. <laughs> Make sure y'all check out Get Off Your Chest podcast everywhere, of course. Shout out to the sponsors again, theblackgent.com. Go check them out. Buy some merch. Buy some merch. It's free to share. Sharing is free. Share that shit. Share the goddamn video. Then go to their channel and share the goddamn video again. God damn it. And then again after that. Then again after that. Tell a friend. <laughs> tell a friend to tell a friend. Tell a friend to tell a friend to yeah, tell a friend, friend, man. About to get out tell the the math, Tell them the math, Black. Tell them the math, Black. <laughs> oh, shit. Give it to him. Give it to him. Uh, uh, one nigga bring two niggas and two uh-huh. niggas bring four. Four niggas. <laughs> <laughs> And eight niggas bring mo. Oh, hey. <laughs> hey, we ain't got shit else to say after that one, man. Let's get off your chest podcast, y'all. We out. You got it on your mind, pop to get it off your chest. You got it on your mind, pop to get it off your chest. You got it on your mind, pop to get it off your chest. Get it, get it off your chest. Get it, get it off your chest. Get it off your chest. Get it, get it off your chest.